Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner and this is Real Magic Review and this is Ignite by Urban and Gentleman's Magic. Before we carry on, could you please like, subscribe, check out cardmagiccourse.com. That is the finest and best way to become a better magician. Actually, there's loads of ways, isn't there? But it's one of the really good ones. It's my online card magic course, goes into the theory of magic. There's a how to practice course, a royal road to card magic course, which I've just added an extra chapter to. I'm building it up over the next, well, year probably or more, because it's huge and all the moves you're ever gonna need and more. So that's cardmagiccourse.com and the live sessions every week. Well, they weren't my last week, so I wasn't up to it, but, <laughs> but there's a lot going on last week, but nearly every week, if there ain't one, I'll give you some notice. Uh, Cardmagicals.com, learn from a pro. And, you know, do all the good stuff. If you, if you can share this, if you can talk about it, it is, there's a lot of stuff going on online, so every little bit of help is honestly very, very much appreciated in spreading the word of this review show, because people tend to like it, which is good. Uh, as I say, I do uh, try to focus on the positive aspects of magic rather than trying to find things to slate. Um, I'm trying to find the good stuff. And I've, I've, this was a bit of a surprise, this one. So I saw this at Blackpool, but I didn't go and see it. I saw kind of what it was and I kind of thought, I, I don't really get what it is. I, I didn't really, I haven't really used flash paper much. And the reason I haven't used flash paper much or flash products it isn't because I don't like it. I think it's brilliant. I, I remember seeing bits and pieces, but the, the bit that sort of uh, really convinced me was watching David Stone's uh, DVDs, uh, The Real Secrets of Magic, was that what they were called? Uh, I can't remember. God, I'm just going to do my editing now. I've got to have a look. Oh, no, now it's going to be three minutes of me looking for a DVD again, which is very entertaining, isn't it? There it is. Uh, that wasn't too bad, was it? Real Secrets of Magic, after all that, yeah. So he does... Um, he does a lot of great productions with roses and then when, when that came out i was doing gigs with people that were bringing bags of roses i tried it once and it just didn't suit me i just looked sleazy but he doesn't uh but i really quite got into it for a while but then just got so annoyed because i'm really really rubbish at pocket management even after doing it for years i'm all right when i've got my normal stuff but when i start adding routines i get all confused and the flash paper was getting everywhere and i was forgetting where i put it and i was kind of and the first time I got into it, I burnt my fingers so I didn't know what I was doing. So, uh, I kind of gave up with it, which is a shame because I really like that. That really, that's a lovely moment, isn't it? When a, when a, some, a, whatever it is comes into, comes into play in that way. And it's not very difficult as well, which is, which is important. It's a, you get a lot of bang for, your, for a very little buck. So that's why I didn't get into it. And, th and then I, they sent me these and I was like, I'm really interested to see what these are. And they avoid all that basically. Urbain came out with this. I think that's how you pronounce it. I do, it reads Urbane, but I don't want to be the sort of English no pronunciation thing, you know, like Urbane, you know. Uh, so <laughs> he he came out of it because of that reason, because it's like you have to fill the thing and then you have to get one in your hand and you have to get a lighter and you have to do all this stuff. And I remember Rocco seeing him with sort of the elastic, like the pull, he'd bring a lighter out on a pull and then it would fling back, but it always seemed a bit. Not, I mean, it, it works for him, but for me to have all that kind of stuff was, didn't, my little brain didn't deal with it very well. So this is, for that, you, you, you basically, you put the flash wool into it, um, and you, you do what you want, and you can, you can, you can, you can see I'm still not used to it, because <laughs> even when it happens, I kind of go, I'm not used, to, I've, I've only played with it for a day or so. Um, and, and I've enjoyed playing with it very much and making various things appear badly because, again, I haven't quite got the rhythm yet. It creates a flash and you can produce stuff, vanish stuff. You can do um, a sort of almost like a spellbound thing he does on it where you hold a silver coin and do it and it turns into a copper coin or a Chinese coin uh, or whatever you want. Uh, I haven't quite mastered that yet because I'm in time but the, the coin vanish and product, all that kind of stuff is not very difficult because it's such wonderful misdirection, such a lovely moment isn't it? So it's a flasher, that's what I'm trying to say and taking about eight minutes over it but if you're like me, I didn't really know what, I've not played with it before and I think it's important if you never have, this is what it is. 
So it's a flasher in the Zippo, which add, adds a bit of elegance, doesn't it? Zippos are quite cool. We all kind of like them. You know, I don't mean we like using them to smoke, but they're, they're kind of got a, a kind of coolness to them. You can get them out, you can, to, there's an elegant, it's not like getting an old Zippo out, is it? Or, or, a, or a, a little lighter, that, like a Bic lighter or something like that. Uh, and I tried using a Zippo with flash paper actually when I got into it, but a normal one to let it go on the table so I could flash from it. But I, I didn't like the idea it wouldn't go out if it tipped over. I was a bit worried about it. So it, this does feel a lot safer, but we'll talk about that in a bit. You, the, the good thing about it is basically the flash stuff goes into there, but it's got this compartment in it, which is, this is really clever. So you, that holds your flash wall. So you haven't got a get them in your pockets and you know when it all collects in your pockets and all that uh, same what happened to me with the paper and, it, and it's got this hole in it so it's a dispenser so you, you dispense a bit and it can hold I think up to 100 or 50 maybe um, in here and you dispense it take it out before you go along pop it in there and you're ready to go so this is really good I've been I carry this around with me carry it around the house like I did uh, today and yesterday this morning yesterday and just open it <laughs> what I can find to make a pair. I use, I haven't got one at the moment, but I use acrylic balls, you know, for contact juggling. It's a really nice way to get one of them out and do a, you can do a couple of vanish of it or some contact juggling if you're that way inclined. So it's, it's a good solid piece of equipment. It is also look, looks well made. It's not, a, I don't think, it doesn't make them out of the original Zippos, um, but they're not like really bad, you know, because they know that if they do that, they're just all going to fall apart, aren't they? So it, it feels like, an, it does feel like a good solid Zippo, this. They do these in various colours. I think there's three on the Illusionist website and one on Gentleman's Magic website. They do sell them in both places, so I'll put all the links below. Be um, uh, Have a look at them. Please always do that, OK, because people send me stuff and it's a, it keeps me going. Uh, and it, I'd appreciate if you use the links, links below. Um, so on the good side, it's easy. It's powerful i think it, you know you can use this virtually bang it's a it's a production of a thing it can work on telly works on social media really well uh it well, clearly works live i'll have no t this is definitely going in my case and it's definitely coming around with me on the negative side i suppose it's like it's you, you've got to be 18 to buy this it's um it's easy, but you've also, you've clearly got to be careful. Like when you stock the, the wool in there, you've got, like you said, it goes um, into all this in, in depth on the DVD, uh, on the download, showing the age. So you, you've got to make sure like when you put it in, you put it in properly and it isn't kind of all hanging out, but it's pretty easy to do. It's quite funny actually, because I got it and because I haven't used flash wool before, I kind of put it in, it didn't work. I was like, oh, and they sent me like all the different ones. And I was like, oh, it don't work. Oh, these are rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote to him like a proper noob because I said, I'm just to let you know, is it something I'm doing wrong? And I couldn't think what I was doing wrong because it was sparking, but the flash wall. And I was thinking, God, they don't work. These things don't work. And then it, obviously I realised before he then told me that I noticed actually when I looked closer, the wall was quite damp and they have to send the wall um, still wet so it doesn't ignite. So you, you have to dry it out. That's fine. I stuck it on the shelf for a couple of hours and it was fine. It was brilliant. And when, when I got that first flash, it was great. He goes into different, uh, all the details you need or the skill and the technique and all that and, and to make it look better. So that's all on the download for you. So you can literally go into this with no, um, no experience. Like I said, I've had a little bit with a paper, but he, he, you know, there, there, for instance, he's, he's got a different way of um, producing a larger object, like a Rubik's Cube or something like that, or a deck of cards, then there is a smaller one, diff different ways of doing that, which he goes into. Uh, how to maintain it, how to clean it, all that stuff. It's a really good, thorough download, actually, and it's it's produced really nicely, and I think this is a really nice production. Um, I'm happy with this. It's, it's, it's properly... When this stuff comes out, they always say things like, well, it sorts out your pocket space, and, you know, what, what I... And, and it's... And it, it answers an issue and you always go, well, I didn't really have the issue in the first place. But this genuinely was something that I kind of went, oh, I'm giving up. It's just all over the place. It's messy. And it stops something that is potentially very messy being messy, uh, which I like. I don't like when I'm performing magic, that feeling of grubbiness you sometimes get if, you know, when I've done certain things like kiwi fruit and all that. Okay, great to do. But, you know, I don't like, I like to feel clean. <laughs> Blimey. There you go, Steve's in a review talking about how clean he likes to feel doing close-up magic. God, this is gold, isn't it? So, 
you get, I think if you buy it off Illusionist, you buy it, you get um, 100 flashes with it. But a flash wall is not very expensive, isn't it? And that's the only thing you do have to buy. And I really recommend it. I really like it. I'm really looking forward to one day when I can take this out to gigs and and uh, and actually produce things about getting everywhere. Uh, and anything else? No, <laughs> I can't think of anything. But it doesn't matter if I can't think of anything because you've got the uh, comments on comments every Thursday evening at five o'clock. If if all going well, check on the sort of a YouTube channel. If, I'll let you know if I'm not doing one. And every Monday uh, at five o'clock, I do again when possible. Sometimes it's not possible. I do what I've been playing with at the weekend, magic wise. And at the weekends, I try to do magic just for me. So I've got to look at all my books and DVDs and, and work on stuff, and I'll share that with you. Um, what I've been doing actually just to learn magic, not just to review. So uh, come in on Mondays and Thursdays when possible, or if it changes, I will let you know. So please like, subscribe, check out cardmagiccourse.com. Very important that is support your magic and support the channel and look at all the details below and all the, all the um, information for the links you need. So thank you very much for Gentleman's Magic for sending this to me. Uh, very much appreciated and thank you for your support. Have a great one. Take care. Like and subscribe. Share it with your friends. See you later. Bye.